Yo, today we're gonna be talking about the Yamaha Reface CP. So this is a, a vintage piano reintroduced in a new, more compact way. And, and you know, I may mention it in the review, but I don't think there's a more compact, real sounding uh, EP out there. So the Yamaha Reface CP is for those who, you know, you know, like <clears throat> beat makers, hear me out for a second. I literally tried every single EP emulation and sample library out there. Now there's some pretty good sounding ones. Um, Native Instruments has a pretty good one. Um, there's lots of pretty good sounding ones, but a lot of them that get touted as really dope are not really dope. So as you can see behind me, I have a real uh, Fender Rhodes 73 EP. The joint sounds good. That's the reason I saved up and I scraped and I sold stuff until I could get an actual real Fender Rhodes. And even then, I had to restore it and I saved more money and I put into it so it could be restored and made into, you know, you know, brought back to life. Now, that said, this joint is $3.99. It's portable. You throw it in your book bag or whatever you want to do. Slide it into your duffel bag. Throw it in the car in the back seat on the side. Carry it on public transportation. It has two speakers. It can be powered by battery. And, you know, it has uh, all the important stuff that you might want on it. 37 keys, mini keys, but really nice mini keys. Keep that in mind. Mini keys, but really nice mini keys. And it has, I think, like something like five different types of EPs on it, not just the CP. So let me just look at it. Pardon me for uh, reading this, but I want to give you the real, right? So it has um, RD1, which is the early 70s, Tyne Electric Piano, Tyne Electric Piano, that's that guy. So, you know, they can't really say this is a Mark I. So it has a Mark I, it has a Mark II of um, Fender Rhodes piano sounds in it. It was the first two settings. Then it has the, the uh, Warlitza, the Clav, the Toy Piano, and then the CP is the last setting. Not sure why it wouldn't be the first setting, but at any rate, all of those emulations sound really nice. And uh, so, yeah, let's just get into it, and we're going to take a look at the, the Yamaha CP. Um, and uh, all right, we'll come back after that. So the Yamaha Reface CP is basically the electric piano. And I think there's where electronic pianos, uh, you know, obviously whenever there's another electric piano, electronic piano or EP of any sort that comes out, everybody always compares it to the Fender Rhodes Mark I or Mark II, depends on which one you're into. In this case, um, this is probably the most portable EP that I've seen out on the market. Um, obviously, I don't know all the products that are on the market, so if I misspeak, uh, forgive me. But besides some sort of iOS app or something like that, this is probably the most portable one that's on the market right now. So it has a couple speakers. The speakers are on either side, right? Uh, right now, I'm going directly into the audio interface, so uh, that doesn't matter much. Um, so here's the here's the layout. It's made of plastic, but it's pretty durable plastic. It's the perfect size for throwing in your book bag or something. Uh, just as a comparison, you'll see the Apple keyboard over here and the trackpad. Um, and this isn't much bigger than the two of those put together, right? So it's a pretty nice travel size. And uh, the layout is really ergonomic. And pretty simple. There's not a whole lot to it, but it has such a rich sound. You'd probably, well, I'll tell you, I don't know what you'll probably be, but I'll tell you, I was very surprised at the fact that it sounds so authentic and so real. I mean, you can hear that. And as you press, these are not samples. This is, you know, technology on the inside that's modeling this stuff so as I hit harder you hear it bark I'll turn it down a little bit but you hear it bark like 
you know, like a regular piano or uh, EP would. to the CP. Um, okay, set up pretty nicely. I mean, the nice flat black matte type of uh, finish it's really nice. It's a, it's made of plastic, but it's pretty sturdy. Let's look on the back. Um, on the back, and I'm sorry this is upside down, but what you have here is just like on all of the refaces, you have the 12 volt uh, power connection. You have the power button. You have the sustain connector. You have the uh, left and right output. If you only plug in the left, then you get a mono signal. If you plug in both, you get stereo. You have the headphones, you have the aux in so that you can send uh, audio into it and perhaps use it as an effects unit. Uh, you have the MIDI, which is a mini MIDI connection. Um, and it has a cable, a breakout cable that comes with it that makes that mini connection into an in and out five pin DIN standard MIDI connection. Then you have the USB, and that is um, not for sound to travel over, but, but the USB is for MIDI over USB, and to connect this to, um, uh, you know, in my case, the MPC brand, or the computer, the DAW, whatever the case, um, but that's how you'd get MIDI in and out. But if you're using it uh, with standard MIDI connections, then obviously you use the breakout cable. Uh, and here's the breakout cable. I, I haven't even used it because I've used USB to connect it. At any rate, uh, yeah, so this is the Yamaha uh, Reface CP. I think I've said that enough, but let's go over the interface. It has two speakers, left and right, anchoring the thing. I think they're, I don't know, two something watch. You could read the review to know the exact uh, wattage of the speakers. Um, the speakers are pretty decent. Uh, it's perfect for portable travel. Like I said, it comes with the power cord, but it also takes six AA batteries. Um, word to the wise, if you're going to be traveling with this thing, get a couple sets of um, rechargeable batteries so that, you know, you can swap them in and out. At any rate, uh, yeah, so it has the volume on the side here. Gets, gets gets pretty loud. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the volume. Um, and then it has, uh, we can switch the octaves up and down. So the octave range, right? Uh, plus one, plus two, uh, minus one, minus two octaves. So it gets, gets pretty deep. Minus one, minus two, plus one. Plus two. All right. And so it has uh, six different types of waves or sounds or engines. I don't know what they're calling them. I think they call them waves. But the reality is there's six different types of electric pianos. So one is the RD1. That's the Rhodes Mark One. Uh, you know, these companies, I don't think they can use the actual name, so they use some abbreviation. And if you know something about uh, music equipment or music tech, then you know that what they're trying to say. So this is a RD1. Uh, this is the RD2, which is a Rhodes Mark II. A little brighter. This is the Whirly, Wurlitzer. Then this is the clav. This is the toy. Not a fan of that sound, but whatever. Um, a lot of people like it. And then when you, but honestly, when you start to uh, check out the, the toy wave or the toy sound, 
and you start adding the effects, that's when things get, you know, likable and really inspiring, actually. Uh, all right. So then there's the CP, uh, the actual CP. So this, the, the Yamaha CP series, I think there was a CP 10, forgive me if I misspeak, but this one is based on the CP 30 and the CP 70. Eventually there was like a baby grand type of CP electric piano from Yamaha. And I think that was kind of like the creme de la creme. At any rate, the CP here, I think is based on the CP 30 and CP 70. Uh, and so it has a rich sound. But it's very much like piano-ish. Uh, all right, but if you start adding a drive. You know, things can get pretty heavy some good weight that gets added to it. All right, so this is the, the MK2. Let's look at the MK1. That's all the drive up. That's without any drive. Drive about halfway. You can see it adds weight. tell it in the lower registers pretty or absolutely ridiculous all right so uh for those that don't know about this the electric piano or the ep in general that's part of the charm you want it to bark when you hit that thing a little harder. Uh, when you hit the keys a little harder, you want it to bark a little. See, softer is beautiful. Still sounds great, still sounds good, but you can see how it starts to bark a little bit. See, it starts to bark a little bit, and the volume is not as high. But you can definitely hear where it starts to bark. That's the magic of uh, an, electron, an, elect, an EP, an electric piano. And this has that magic. So it barks. Um, so yo, let's, let's talk about the effects. So you get five stomp boxes, but I count like eight effects. So um, here's what you get. You get the uh, five stomp boxes, which are drive that adds harmonics and distortion, obviously. Then you get the uh, kind of stomp boxes with switches. There's the tremolo, which is auto pan. Uh, and, and then you have the VCM wah with adjustable depth and rate. You have the uh, chorus with adjustable depth and speed. You have VCM phaser with adjustable depth and speed as well. You have the digital or analog type delay with an adjustable time and depth. And then you have the reverb with adjustable depth. So those are the five stomp pedals that you get um, all together. Those are the things that you might want when you're playing your real roads. That's what you'd be playing. Those are the kind of effects you'd be looking for. This has it all on there. It's like having uh, five simple switch boxes or stomp boxes uh so let's get back to checking those out a chorus well uh, actually excuse me the tremolo and wah so that's one two three four that's actually six seven eight effects on there so you have the tremolo you can hear that and you have the wah So the tremolo, like I said, you can slow that down, the rate.
so smooth. I love tremolo. Um, tremolo. I don't know how to. This is. I said tremolo. All right, and so you could turn that on and off. You could switch it if it's in the center position. It's off. If it's uh, in the up position, it's tremolo. Down position, it's wah. The depth just kind of dials in how much of it you want. Lesser. You can see the difference. The rate, obviously. You can see how fast that is? No. It's a little less. Okay, so the same thing with the tremolo. Kind of modulates a little more with the rate or faster and deeper. But you can dial it in with the depth, same thing. All right, so I'm going to turn that off. And you see that the light indicates whether it's on or off. So it's off. And I'm going to turn on the chorus. The center thing, uh, the center effect here is chorus and phaser. So we have chorus. And you can dial in, like I said, with the depth. Um, you can dial in the speed. All right, and the phaser, the down position. So it's going pretty fast and you can slow it down a little bit. Dial it in a little, little higher, a little hotter. And this will really let you know what the speed is doing. Right? Or slower. That's the chorus and the phaser. Then the last thing here, well, not the last thing, but then there's the delay. Uh, analog delay and digital delay. So it's in the off position. Let's turn it on to the digital delay. So you can get really pretty. So um, that's the digital delay, and you can obviously dial it in a little more with the depth or less with the depth. at the analog delay or uh, did I go through the time so what I like to do is dial up the uh, well let's talk about the analog delay first so you could turn that off and on so it's digital off analog pardon the camera so it's, uh, right now it's on the analog delay Analog delay has a particular behavior, and I think it's a little sweeter. I, I just don't know any better way to say it. It just seems a little more sweet. Um, so you can dial that in with the depth, less, less depth, more depth. See that? I love that. And then there's the reverb. Right here we have the reverb. You can hear it. You can dial it in quite a bit. It's just one knob, depth. So that's pretty much, you know, you dial a little bit of it, just a little sweetness. And there's no off and on knob. It, it you, you see the behavior here. When you turn that knob, uh, when you get 
just off of the first notch, boom, it turns on. So if you dial it down too much, you're not having any reverb. So just make sure you have it above that first notch, uh, right? And the more you dial it in, the bigger the reverb. And you can start to mix and match these things. So we're gonna put a little analog delay uh, with a little more. Let's uh, dial that up a little bit. Just kind of dial in a few things, a little more reverb. <laughs> a little phaser. And that's where things get beautiful. The phaser and a little tremolo. Slow rate tremolo dialed up. Like I said, you have all these different uh, waves on six of them. So we're on our MK2 now. And that's a little brighter. And you know, with my actual, fa actual phaser pedal, uh, there's sometimes I like to just kind of dial it way up. The ridiculous speed. And a little more delay. And it kind of reminds me of some psychedelic uh, 60s stuff. So yeah, obviously the one of my favorite things is the electric piano. I could mess with this thing all day, but I think we've kind of gotten through what it's all about. This is the Yamaha CP. Um, you know, we've gone over the, the channels and this is kind of what it sounds like. It's easy to integrate into your DAW. I know a lot of people that do portable music making uh, or mobile music making. This is a great alternative for when you're out and about. And for your NPC heads out there that may maybe have to be a little conservative about the space that you take for the instruments that you buy. Uh, this is a great choice. <laughs> So that's the Yamaha CP. Uh, check it out. B Boy Tech Report certified dope. And now that they're $399, I gotta tell you, they're a really good value. 
Uh, they came out at five ninety nine. The refaces in general came out at five ninety nine, and um, there was a lot of squawking about it. I even did some squawking about it. But the fact that they're three ninety nine now, that changes the whole game. This is a dope buy, and it's very portable. The Yamaha Reface CP. 